Is it a good thing to use our senses? Is it holy to use our senses? Is it part of the holiness to eat, to drink, to feel things? Aristotle said that it's a shame that we have the senses, for example. Okay? But uh, I want to explain this from our uh, parsha and to realize from Deuteronomy chapter 4 and to realize that uh, the Hebrew nation is looking all totally different on this issue. And it shall be at the end of the days, that the mountain of God's house shall be firmly established at the top of the mountains, and it shall be raised above the hills, and people shall stream upon it. And many nations shall go, and they shall say, Come, let us go up to God's mount and to the house of the God of Jacob, and let him teach us of his ways, and we will go in his paths. For out of Zion shall the Torah come forth, and the word of God from Jerusalem. Um, I will give an example. For if, if a woman having um, a good uh, kind of uh, flowers okay, that she's getting and she's smelling them and she's feeling very good with them, it's one thing. But if she knows that the flowers that she got is from the soldier who loves her, that is uh, out there in the field, and he sent it to her, so then that she's smelling the flowers, it's not on the same level with all of the intention that she have inside. Uh, in the Hebrew nation, we say that God is one. He created the body, but he also created the soul. So to be a spiritual person with the soul, it's not a problem. The soul was also spiritual before it came to the body. The most hardest thing is to bring the body to a holy situation. Now, if we think that the body side, this is the main aim, so it's like the women who is smelling the flower and think that it's a very good thing to this smell of the flower. That's it. But if we understand that God is giving all of us, for example, food, He is giving food to all of us in a way that all of us can eat. This is what we are blessing. This is the blessing that we have in Deuteronomy chapter 4. Bless God after the food. And what we are saying is, thank you God for giving food to everything in this world, not only the human being. Also think about the worm that is going in the ground and getting something to eat. Think about the animals. God is giving food for everybody. So, when we blessing God for giving us food, it's like the woman who is smelling the flower, but is not thinking about the flower and the smell that the body is thinking, feeling good. She's thinking about her love soldier there that she's getting connected with. The same thing, when we are blessing God for giving, getting food, we are prizing God who is giving us this. And then we can be, with a, we'll say it, with a bit of a rest. We're not trying to find more and more and more and more when we don't have enough for ourselves. No, God is giving us what He is giving us, and it's enough. And thank God, sometimes He will give us more so we can give to others. Always He is giving us more so we can give to others. But the question is how much we can give to others, not only for ourselves. And we are with the intention that everything that we feeling with our body is suddenly getting some stage of holiness in front of God. So we're not separating the body side from the holiness. We're just taking the intention that we have, the things that we're thinking, to bringing them to another level where we can move them or use them as part of the holiness connection that we have with God. Think about this. Blessings from Jerusalem. See you all. Bye.